Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now in today's episode, we are going to continue our look at smaller banks by focusing on BMO Harris Bank. So in typical fashion here, we will first familiarize ourselves with the bank. Then we'll take a look at their points, earnings, and redemptions to see what you can get. Of course, their personal and business cards. We'll also throw in some bank account bonuses on the back end in case you're interested in maximizing your value. And of course, on the back end of this, we will come out with an opinion on are any of these BMO Bank cards worth putting in your wallet. So if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and press the subscribe button. Let's get to work. Okay, first things first, let's start out by learning a little bit more about BMO Harris as a bank. So the classic did you know slide here, BMO Harris Bank founded in 1882. They are now a subsidiary of Bank of Montreal. That's how you get the BMO initials in front of the Harris Bank and the name. Now they're also headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. At the time of recording, they are the eighth largest bank in the U.S. with about $973 billion in assets. And as far as locations go, they're in a few different states you can see on screen. So you've got Illinois, Indiana, Arizona, Missouri, Minnesota, Kansas, Florida, and Wisconsin. About 600 branches between those states with 12 million customers. Now it's also important to note here, if you see something you like throughout this video, you must be in footprint to apply for any of these products. And what in footprint means is you need to have like a mailing address in one of these states. Now I've also seen some data points where folks were able to walk into a branch living out of state and still be able to successfully apply. To be honest with you, it's also a strategy I'm considering that I'll talk a little bit more about when we get to their bank account uh, bonuses towards the back end, but just keep that in mind if you are interested. So now let's take a look at the points, earnings, and redemptions now. So the BMO Harris Bank point system, they're either going to earn points or cash back. Now when you're talking about redemptions, cash back redemptions are pretty straightforward, statement credit or bank account. However, the points redemptions, we're borrowing from Wallet Hub here because Wallet Hub went through and did the actual valuation. So you've got gift cards, merchandise, travel, and charity. So if you wanted to redeem for a gift card, you're looking at 0 0.79 cents in value. Merchandise, 0 0.45 cents. Charity, 0 0.5 cents, 5, 6 cents. You'd think they do charity a little bit better than that. And then travel, uh, Wallet Hub did not have a valuation listed, but Wallet Hub does say that travel was the best use of redemptions here. Now it's also important to know that points do not expire. So when it comes to points, again, I'm always glad to see points not expiring. However, it is a little bit annoying here. The value is off. Again, when you're talking about points, you're looking at a one-to-one, -one, so one point equals one penny. I've got a full video down below that I'll link on how to calculate points and value if you're interested. But hey, we won't judge them too harshly yet, at least not without looking at the cards themselves. So let's get into it, and let's start with the personal line of cards first. So batting leadoff for BMO Harris personal cards, we have the Platinum card. And if you watch the show at all, you just know how I love any time a bank calls a card the Platinum card. So annual fees, $0. Multipliers, none to be had. And the reason being is because the benefits here are going to be your standard balance transfer card. So 0% introductory APR on purchases for 15 months from the account opening date. After that, you're looking at the variable APR anywhere from 12.24 to 20.24% based on your credit worthiness, of course. So that's it. Let's get into the more interesting stuff. And that brings up the platinum reward. So apparently it's just going to be a platinum video all over the place. Someone should call American Express and report this. But anyways, I digress. Annual fees, $0. Multipliers here, 2x points on gas and groceries up to $2,500 in combined purchases per quarter. Now you do get an interesting benefit here, 10% anniversary points every year. So that's every card member anniversary. Not bad considering there's no annual fee. So next up we have the cash back card, which is basically a mirror copy of the platinum rewards, just less platinum-y, I guess. So the annual fee here is zero dollars. Your multiplier, same exact thing. You're talking about 2x cash back on gas and groceries up to $2,500 in combined purchases a quarter. So this is their cash back version instead of points. And now moving on to the premium rewards card, which will be their flagship travel card. So coming in at an annual fee of $79, but it is waived in the first year. So what do you get for that $79? 
with the multipliers here going to be three x points on dining hotels and airfare up to twenty five hundred dollars in combined purchases a quarter again now the benefits here we do get a little bit more here so the 15 percent anniversary bonus points boost each year you are going to get priority pass select there is some cell phone insurance to be had up to six hundred dollars a claim some extended warranty coverage up to 24 months and luggage insurance to boot and so that will do it for the personal lineup. Now we transition to the business side of the house and we'll start with, wouldn't you know it, the business platinum rewards card. So annual fee here is $0. Multiplier is going to be 1.5x points on all purchases. Now the benefits here, you're going to get a MasterCard easy savings. That's kind of like a program MasterCard has where you can save a few dollars at certain uh, retailers. And then you also get discounts on TurboTax and Intuit QuickBooks as it is a business card. And then their final business card here, they have the business platinum card. Again, platinum, they love it. So no annual fee here. Multipliers, none to be had. And you're looking at the same benefits we've seen, right? So you're going to get the 0% intro APR for purchases of 18 months from the date of account opening. You can see what the variable APR is going to jump to after that. There's also 0% intro APR on balance transfers for the first 18 months. Now this card also comes with the MasterCard Easy Savings and discounts on TurboTax and Intuit QuickBooks products. Okay, and so there we have it. That is a full credit card catalog for BMO Harris Bank as of late 2021. Now let's quickly talk about their bank accounts as well because you can kind of double up and get some bank account bonuses in the process. If you're interested, then we'll come back with the full opinion piece. So when it comes to bank accounts, again, this is kind of what got me interested in the bank as a whole and to research into this video. So what you have here is they, they really run personal checking bonuses quite a bit. I've seen them every quarter, you know, for the last few quarters, it, it clocking in at various price points. So they've done some at $200 to $300. The current ones running right now are good for $300 or $500, depending on what you want to go after. The $500 ones, the one on screen, you can see that the requirements aren't really that low. They're looking for about $7,000 in direct deposits over the course of a few months' time, and they'll pay you out $500. So, you know, it got me thinking, you know, I'm out of footprint right now, as we talked about in the beginning, but, you know, a quick drive down to Indiana or even Chicago is a little bit farther away, or Illinois, not too far. For a quick $500, you could probably make that work, especially down to Indiana. So maybe we'll make a road trip video out of it. But anyways, that's kind of what I like about the bank. I think their bank account bonuses are on point if you want to go with one of those now for the cards themselves it should come no surprise if you made it this far in the video um there's nothing to be had here for anyone honestly so we'll first start out if you were bank with bmo harris and you're looking to just get their thoughts on their credit cards their cards are not awesome um you know i know the cash back one seems nice because it's got you know the two percent back on some key categories right but you know, their, their categories are limited. You'd be much better off going with a classic city double cash that's going to give you 2% back on everything. The Wells Fargo active cash will give you 2% back on anything. And there's no quarterly cap, right? So again, 2% is kind of the table minimum that you can easily get on anything. 5% even is starting to become the table minimum with how many cards out there offer 5% in a given category. So I would definitely say pass. You're better served elsewhere. Now, of course, if you're more like a credit card enthusiast, bonus hunter type person, even then there's sign-up bonuses to be had on some of their cards. But again, they're not awesome because you saw the valuation. So if you go with one of the points cards, you're still going to be taking a haircut. So you could technically look at the cashback one, I guess. But again, I think your time will be better spent going after other cards but definitely check out their bank account bonuses. I'll link to them down below. But anyways, guys, if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, then consider subscribing to the channel. Again, posting content just like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Of course, right back here every Sunday with that, uh, that recap episode that is all the news you can use in the week that was in credit and finance. My question for you guys is let me know what you thought about BMO Harris Bank. If you already bank with them, what do you think about their cards? Am I being too hard? And if you're going after one of their bank accounts, you know, is it worth it? Do you think I should take a quick road trip down to Indiana to try to sign up in person for 500 bucks? Love to hear your thoughts on that. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.